and it's Friday, which means the Fox Carolina Tailgate Tour is back, and it's week eight. I can't believe that, Justin. Already? Yeah. Wild. It's flying. Yeah. Well, this week we're at T.L. Hanna as they face off against Hillcrest, and our sports director, Beth Hull, is standing by. They're on the field, as she always does every Friday night. And, Beth, who do you got for us this time around? Yeah, that's right, you guys. I have a very special guest with us. It's former head coach Harold Jones. We're here. We're celebrating today because it's radio's birthday. Of course, radio uh, made, you know, internationally famous at this point after a story, uh, a movie made in his honor, in, in his memory. Um, but he was very real and very much a part of your family and this Anderson family. He sure was. I'll tell you what, he first showed up. It was in 1964 when he first showed up, and uh, <clears throat> and he stayed with us the whole time, you know. And and you know, after the movie came out, uh, they were living down on the East Side, which has turned into a pretty bad place. So we always wanted to to get them uh, out of there. Mm -hmm. So so we were able to do that. We raised enough money to buy. A, him a brand new house, <laughs> which is two two blocks behind our miles. That's spectacular. And so, uh, and you know when his uh, brother, his brother uh, Walter, uh, passed away, and then his uh, he didn't have anybody else. So his niece Jackie Kennedy and her son Josh moved in with him. Was taking care of Radio Income. Okay. And still. They're there, taking care of them, and they were, they were just like angels for us, really, you know. We were worried uh, who's going to step up in the stairs. But when we got the house, we gave the keys straight to radio and said, <laughs> radio, this is your house. How special, because to be able to do something like that for him when he really, from everything I understand, did so much for this school and you, you had such a special personal relationship with him. Well, I tell you what, he was an icon. I mean, you know, he really put Hannah on the map, and, but he loved uh, the football team, you know, and he loved, he also coached track, and so he started going with the track team. And <laughs> so we had a home, when we had home meets, we dress him out, you know, like the ice fishing team would be art for him to run. Yeah. And he'd run the 100 yard dash, 220 yard oh dash. Oh my goodness. And the 440 yard dash. That's spectacular. And, well, we remember him today, especially, I'm sure he's always in your heart, but today on his birthday, you said he would have been 76? 76. 76 sure. today, absolutely yeah. spectacular. We can all carry something, uh, you know, with uh, from radio and, and his, personality and his character with us um, today certainly you guys will toss it back to you guys in the studio yeah so special to be able to reminisce right. uh, about his life and his relationship there with coach too. Right. those inside stories about that house sweet mm -hmm. moment sweet day Beth thank you